Hey everybody, what's up guys? I'm here today wanting to get ready and glam because it's my birthday and even though I can't go anywhere, I still want to get ready. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start off with some lip balm. This one's really good. It's a new one that I've been playing with. It's the Badger Balm and the scent is called Poetic Pomegranate. I love Badger Balm. If you guys haven't tried these before, they are amazing. They have a, um, cocoa butter in them and they kind of have like a very nourishing quality. You can definitely feel it on your lips. It's a little bit waxy, but I like that because I just feel like it's taking cover of all my dry skin. So this is like the bigger size, but they do have smaller ones. They have a million flavors, but I've been really liking the pomegranate. Before I get into like doing makeup, I do want to say I hope you're all doing well. I wish you all the best of health and I hope you're staying safe at home if you can. And to those of you who are working, who are in the medical field, who are in the service industry and uh, the grocery stores, I, I really applaud you guys for working hard and doing your best to save people's lives right now. I know it's really stressful time. So I was also gonna say thank you to the people who work for Instacart and services that go to the door because it's been really a huge help for my family right now. I haven't been able to go to my grandparents' house like I normally do and help with all of the, you know, like errands that they need. So it's been, it's been just a huge relief for me to be able to have this service that I can still help them with, so. Oh my gosh, Wiley, <laughs> he's like zipping around right now. All right, I'm back. I got my wet sponge. I always forget to do that. Like who else does that make me feel better? I'm not alone in this. Did you guys see my Pyrex? I kind of switched up my background a little bit. Ooh, kitties are going wild again. Um, yeah, so I like to collect glass. I love glass and I also love like dishes and you know, cups and like Pyrex baking dishes, anything I can find at the antique shops, I basically like to collect. So I have my Pyrex nesting bowls. I decided I wanted to kind of display them a little bit. I know I hide it a little bit when I sit in front of it, but I still wanted to have something in the background that was that was what I like and colorful a little bit because I had all of the white milk glass and it was kind of just it didn't look great on camera. I mean, I love milk glass. It looks great in person. I use it to hold my brushes. I love to decorate with milk glass. I've been collecting it for years. Um, but I thought, you know what? I need some color back here. So I put my Pyrex and I'm really liking it. I feel like I should do a video and show you guys my apartment because it's pretty much fully decorated now. And I say pretty much because I realize that I don't think I'll ever be like fully done with it because Decorating is just one of those things where I think you you could switch it up sometimes and Seasons change and I don't know. I think sometimes it's fun to just rearrange things especially right now You know and you when you're kind of at home a lot I, I kind of I like to clean and organize and sometimes rearrange things and the foundation I have is my favorite one. It's the cover effects natural finish the shade is p20 I've had this tube for a couple of months now. I mean this stuff really does last me a long time and I'm doing more of a full coverage look today, but you can do just a little drop of this. Like you can sheer it out, even your skin tone out. It looks so good on dry skin or even normal skin. You might like this. It's very uh, creamy feeling. Like it feels kind of more like a cream liquid foundation. It's not super runny. It's very, it's very hydrating. It feels so good on my skin. And I've had kind of a bad little bout of eczema right around my mouth and i don't know i think it's just stress related because sometimes with stress my eczema really tends to flare up so that's another reason i haven't been wearing any makeup at all i've just been trying to let my skin um you know heal and do its thing but i feel good enough today to where i can wear makeup um but yeah i've been dealing with a little bit of a flare up but other than that i feel fine so you could see my skin is a little bit shiny underneath because I did hydrate my skin very well before putting on um, the makeup. My skin's been so dry right now that I can put like CeraVe moisturizing lotion on my face and it just kind of doesn't even look like I did anything. That's how dry my skin has been. And I actually like to use CeraVe on my face especially when I have my eczema. I don't put it like all over. I don't like slather it on. I just take a little drop and I kind of evenly spread that out. So that's what I've got on underneath my foundation today. So if it looks a little shiny, 
that's probably why um but it does really help with the with the makeup application going on smoother i'm gonna use this concealer it's the elf hydrating camo concealer and the shade is the lightest one i think it's called fair warm or it's maybe it's the second to lightest one i'm not too sure but this is amazing stuff it does not feel heavy and it's got nice coverage to it i like that it's a little bit warm tone because that looks funny <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it on for a second before i blend it out but i like that this is it's got a bit of a yellow tone to it i feel like that helps with my discoloration around my eyes and i think it was only five bucks at target at the time i purchased it i think it was around five six dollars so i love that it's under 10 it's in my budget and it's been working really well for me so I just like to take this pretty much on the lids as a base and also underneath like wherever I have you know purple or bluish kind of tones going on. The other day on Instagram I shared like a bunch of pictures of old toys. I was feeling really nostalgic. I watched that show The Toys That Made Us on Netflix and it just had me thinking about all of the toys I used to love when I was a kid. The first one that came to mind for me was, it's called Jewel Girl Barbie. I didn't remember the name at all. I just remembered her outfit and how much I loved that outfit. She had this silver cropped leather jacket with a tube top, a white tube top. And it like showed her whole stomach and these pants that were like mosaic. Um, the pants were like this mosaic pattern. They were pink and purple and blue and I just remember loving this outfit so much as a kid and it, she also came with jewels that you could like stick on her skirt or her shirt or wherever. I also really loved the Barbie Swan Lake Castle because it played the song when you'd like go up the stairs and the dress, the, the Barbie Swan Lake dress was so pretty. Um, and I also loved my scene doll. So this was a part of Barbie, like the Barbie franchise, but it was, they were a little bit taller and bigger. Like the my scene dolls were kind of almost like Barbie's version of Bratz. And I had Bratz, I love Bratz too, but I really loved my scene dolls. And I think it was because of all the movies they had. And I had the computer game where like, you could be in the coffee shop and like you had to run the coffee shop and you got to run a store and you could decorate like the storefront and design clothes the the computer like the mycene pc game that was life like i would do anything to get that game back and play it i wish that they would like remaster it like how they did spyro spyro was my other favorite thing in life when i was a kid i loved my playstation i had ps1 like ps1 came out when i was a kid so that was uh, I didn't get one until I was older, but I did have one, and I was an only child, so I had to keep myself entertained, and Spyro did that for me. Like, Spyro was this world that I just, like, jumped right into. I really love Spyro. I still love Spyro. I mean, I play it all the time, and I got the remastered version for Christmas when it came out a few years ago. My boyfriend got it for me, and when I popped that disc in, I popped it in so fast, I started playing it and it was just like the same soundtrack. Everything was right there where I left it in my brain. My One of my other favorite toys growing up was this stuff called Floam and it was this like styrofoamy, slimy stuff that came in like all these different colors and you could make stuff out of it. Kind of like Play-Doh, but it never really dried all the way. Like it was always kind of sticky and really slimy and gross and terrible. But I loved it and I would make stuff and like you could, the whole point of it was like that you could wrap stuff in floam and like basically bedazzle something with floam, which was not a good idea because mine never really dried all the way so it was always kind of slimy. And I remember I took a bunch of this stuff and I decided to floam my lamp in my room. And it was not a good idea because the heat of the lamp shade <laughs> from the light bulb made it melt in down into like this gooey lampshade flowy mess and then from there it got into the carpet so i am very sorry to my grandma who had to deal with that <laughs> my grandpa would just give me seeds <laughs> i don't know where he'd get them but he would just give me seed packets all the time and he'd be like here plant these and half the time he didn't have the seeds in the right packet so it would say like pumpkin but it was really like you know peas or something 
So it was always this fun game that we would play. He would just not tell me what the seeds were and he'd say plant it and then when you come back next week we'll see if it sprouts and what it is. So I used to always do that too, just play outside in the garden and plant mystery seeds from grandpa. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. I had to change my battery and I just looked at my makeup real quick and I like how it's turning out but I do feel like I want some more coverage right in these areas because this is where I get my darkness from. So a little trick that I've been doing is just taking some full coverage concealer. This one is the Stay Naked Concealer from Urban Decay. It's really full coverage. And I just take the tiniest little bit of it. Yes, Marvin, come here. So I just take a tiny drop of it and I put it on a little brush like this. This is an It Cosmetics double-ended brush. It's very uh, gentle enough to just kind of dab right in this delicate area of the eye and that's all I do and I get that nice coverage that I want. I know, baby. It's starting to rain. You don't want to go outside. You don't like the rain. And I do like this concealer, but the shade is a little off for me and I feel like it looks better just to cancel out any discoloration I have. I don't think it really matches me. It's a, it's a little too deep to put on my face. And the shade I have is 20C but I might get uh, the lighter one. There's another couple shades lighter than this. I might go for that for my face because I do like the consistency of that concealer and the coverage is really nice, but it doesn't work for my face. But it works for this, I like that. And this brush is so good. It's one of my favorites. It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Brush. I love that one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna powder that concealer because um, I don't want it to settle into my face, so I'm just using the no color powder. The stuff is great and it lasts forever. I just use this for pretty much my whole face. Even that is a lot. I don't like to put too much powder. I just kind of like get it in the brush. I like to just put it in the brush and go from there. So yeah, you guys have to let me know what your favorite toys were or what you like to play with when you were a kid, I'd love to hear it. It's just so much fun and it's a really good way to just kind of put yourself in a fun mood and like distract yourself a little bit. So you have to let me know. I would really love to hear from you guys. I, I'm telling you, it's so much fun. I haven't done a full face of makeup in a while, you guys, and I'm really liking it. I'm feeling like ready to take on my day. I think I need to practice different looks right now and like where I think I'm gonna play with like uh, my new palette I got from Urban Decay the colorful one because I normally don't wear colors and I think now is a good time to just play around with it I'm not going anywhere might as well wear some color might as well play with makeup you know what I've been doing is a lot of cleaning it kind of de-stresses me and like I, I love the results I mean my apartment has never been cleaner before so it's been a really nice way to kind of unwind and be productive and stuff. I know it's not all about being productive though. I do I do try to relax too. So I've been like um, baking and stuff, but you know what? Flour has been sold out everywhere. So I've been using almond flour and that's been working for me. This eyeliner is almost empty. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little bit of blush and highlighter today. And I want to go for like a pinky shade. I'm going to go for this one. Pinky shade. This brush is my favorite for blush. It's a Real Techniques kind of angle brush. I'm just going to put on some of this pink blush. Ooh. I think I'm going to go for red lips today because red lips just kind of brighten up my day. And I think it'll be fun with this pink blush. Put some color in there. We're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the eyes and do some mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes here. My plans for today got postponed, of course, like a lot of things have been, um, but I'm not too bummed out because I know I'll be able to do it eventually. So I'm just kind of making the best of what I can right now. But um, what I would have done is go to my favorite restaurant in the whole world. It's called Mr. Vim's and it is a Thai restaurant in Hollywood and it's a cash only place that's been there for a long time. It's kind of like a family spot. 
I want to brighten up my face so I'm gonna do red lips today I just feel so good in red lips there's something about red lipstick that instantly just makes my day like brighter and it does kind of whiten your teeth a little bit so I'm gonna first line my lips and fill them in a little bit with this pencil by Milani I love these color statement pencils because they're very smooth and just easy to use and they're very inexpensive at the drugstore they're usually like five to seven dollars so I'm gonna go in with this color called true red and just kind of line my lips and fill it in a little bit to make a nice base and I want to go for like a kind of a high cupid's bow All right, now that I got that on, I'm gonna fill in everything with one of my favorite red lipsticks in my collection. This is from Lisa Eldridge. It's her lipstick called Velvet Ribbon, and it really does feel so smooth and velvety on the lips. It just kind of glides on. It feels so just like, like a treat. It's so nice, and I love this color too, so I thought it'd be perfect for my birthday. I love this lipstick formula, Lisa Eldridge. I love these so much and she's one of my favorite people to watch. I've watched her for so long. Like she's one of the first people I ever started watching and I still love her to this day. She's just so much fun. You can get this on her website, lisaeldridge.com. And I love the other shade called Velvet Fawn. That's kind of like an everyday color for me. It's like a nudish brown color, but I like this one for more special occasions or when I'm just feeling like being confident and being seen. I like to go for a red lip. Like if I have a presentation or something, I love to wear red lipstick. I love how the makeup turned out so far, but I need to add a little something special because I love to wear glitter and it's my birthday so I need to shine today so I'm gonna do that with my favorite highlighter one of my favorites Fenty kilowatt highlighter and the shade I'm gonna use is lightning dust the lightning dust is my favorite because it just kind of melts into the skin this one right here that I've hit major pan on I mean I think that says a lot right there but I also like this one too fire crystal because it has glitter in it for today I think I might just mix the two and have fun with it because why not but I'm definitely gonna start off with lightning dust because this one just really, it just melts right into the skin. It just looks so pretty. And I do have a little shimmer from my blush, but I want, I want sparkle. I wanna shine, you know? At least today because I need something to brighten up myself, my day. Highlighter just makes everything better. So, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, with the red lipstick, that is what I like. See how it just kind of pops? I normally don't wear lashes ever, and it's funny because I'm just gonna be home, but you know what? I'm gonna be FaceTiming a lot of people. I might as well look really cute. I'm gonna wear these eye lure lashes. While my lash dries, I just wanted to say that today actually turned out, it's already better than I thought it was gonna be, so shout out to anyone watching this because I feel like I'm hanging out with friends right now. And like, I know we all are kind of going through a lonely spell and social distancing and all, but it can be lonely but at the same time like we have each other and I feel like especially on my little piece of YouTube I don't feel like I'm alone as much and I feel like that just every day throughout my life too I mean you guys have been there for me through a lot of hard times and um, this year has just been weird like <laughs> let's just I think we can all agree on that like this year has not started off the way that I thought it would because of my own personal reasons and because of everything going on with the world right now. All right, I think this lash has dried enough. I like to really wait till they're almost completely dry, but I think we're good. It's been about a minute, so I'm gonna pop this on. Okay. These are long lashes. I actually really like it. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's Get Ready With Me video. I haven't done a Get Ready With Me in a while, so I thought it would be perfect because I just wanted to get, like, really fun and glam. Like, I just, I haven't done hair, makeup, like, all like this in a while. And I just felt like it's the perfect day to do that, you know? Just feel so much better. I feel, like, ready and, and just so much brighter. The sun just came out, so I feel like that's a good sign. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes and 
thank you for just hanging out with me today. I hope you're all doing well, and as always, thank you so much for watching.